to begin, I always start with the monthly overview. Here you can see that I go back to February and I grab things that occur each month. This is honestly one of my favorite things about digital planning is that I can transfer the data so easily. So here you see me copy over three bills that I have due each month. After placing them in their correct spot, I then go in and copy the Netflix watch list that I have of the TV shows that I want to watch. And then I go in and do the same thing to the movies or the documentaries I want to watch. Another crucial section of the planner to me would definitely have to be the reflection section. Here you're able to look back at the goals that you have from the previous month and build upon them or change them. For mine, I usually like to go back to the previous month and read what I wrote down, see how well I did or how well I didn't do something and go from there. Next, we move on to March goals. My four goals for this month is continue to read, post consistently, discover career options, and keep up with classwork. This part might honestly be my favorite part of doing a plan with me, the vision board. I think we all know at this point, I am a Pinterest stan. I love Pinterest, especially going there to get inspo and photos. This time around, I tried to grab things from my home screen that was already recommended to me. And then I went in and I searched for daily affirmations, smoothie bowl for some reason. I don't know, maybe I was just hungry. I went in and found self-care photos. And then I played around with the photos that I downloaded already. And as you can see, I put them together. I rearrange it. I hate the way it looks. I delete all of them and start over. to Pinterest because I felt like I needed more photos. I looked up Summer Fridays because I wanted a picture of the Lip Butter Balm, but I didn't see any on their page. So I just decided to add in my own photos of the skincare that I did in one of my recent videos and then a picture of my dog and I when I was reading. Moving on to part five, this is when I went in and I did the weekly overview. I like just doing them a week in advance, not the whole month in advance. It's just easier for me. This is another instance where I love digital planning over paper planning because I do the same four workouts in a week. I just change which day I do it, so copy and paste. Obviously I didn't show too much for this, but I'm setting up my March budget. So I'll go through and just budget each month. So I get paid weekly, so I just went in and wrote in the dates for my payday. And here I'm showing you my final product. And if you're interested in hearing more details about this planner and what comes with it, I'll leave a video linked up here so you can watch that. Or you can go and watch my February plan with me if you want. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one.